morning and happy day. Happy Tuesday. Yeah. From 83 Degree Alabama. As you can tell, my hair is looking fly today. Um, I've been kind of doing stuff all over the place. My hair is just kind of falling out a little bit. And I said, oh, shoot, I got to do my video for today. Um, I was actually feeling pretty motivated this morning. So I've gotten a lot of stuff done um, that I needed to get done. And um, so yesterday, last night for dinner, we had a steak that we just put onto a grill top, grill top, and then we took some hash brown potatoes and we just added, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I've tried to record like five times so far, and I keep getting allergies like within the first three minutes of recording it. So I'm gonna do this. Allergies or not, pushing through. Um. And I, uh, we put a little bit of avocado oil in the pan instead of using butter. I just kind of fried up the hash brown potatoes and then add a little bit of cayenne and some salt and pepper. So that was pretty good. I had about a cup of hash browns and the one steak. And then, um, tonight for dinner I'm going to make like a baked mac and cheese, except for it's a vegetable-based pasta, um, and the vegan cheese and cashew milk instead of whole milk. And then I'm also going to maybe add some sort of either tuna or something. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll add some sauces to it. I don't know. So that's the plan for dinner tonight. I'm not sure what we're going to make tomorrow night. I'll look in the freezer and see what we have. Um, tomorrow morning, though, I'm going to try a new uh, like oatmeal recipe. You still cut oats in a pressure cooker. But I'm going to find out if I can use like a different kind of um, juice because I do have some apple cider. So I wonder if I can use apple cider instead of what they suggest. They suggest coffee, but um, I'm not supposed to have coffee, so i got to figure out an alternative. Um, so I'm going to figure that out and see if, what it what I come up with for an alternative liquid. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying that tomorrow. That will be really good. It only takes like seven or eight minutes in the pressure cooker to cook. So and I've got tons of steel cut oats. Tons and tons and tons. So I can definitely make those. And otherwise, it's been... You know, knock on wood, pretty uneventful this week. Um, I'm sitting down with my husband tonight and going over a few things that I figured out. Um, basically, a short story is I was watching, I don't know if any of you guys watch Katie Morton. She's like a uh, YouTuber who is actually a licensed counselor. She might be a psychiatrist. I think she's just a counselor, <clears throat> though. Um, and she was talking to Shane Dawson and his fiance Rylan. And um, they were talking about sleep and like reasons why people don't sleep. And I have a lot of problems sleeping at night, during the day, whatever. I never get more than five hours of sleep. When I have a good night of sleep, it's like a miracle. And generally, it's still only five hours of sleep, but I've slept really hard. Um, so there's, you know. But when I was watching it, I think I suddenly figured out what my sleep issues are. So I'm going to ask my husband to help me get through them. You know, she kind of suggested some ways to get over them. Um, you know, like using something like a sleep aid that you can get from your doctor or like taking a single, um, what's that pill you can buy over the counter? It begins with an M. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Um, but taking one of those before you go to bed. But there's like a whole thing about setting up a process to go to bed and all that kind of stuff. Um, when we moved into the back bedroom, we specifically did not put a TV in there. Um, just because usually if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll just start watching TV. And then I'm just up. Um, and I don't want to do that anymore. So my goal was to move our room back into a room with no TV. And um, but, but before that, I was already having issues with sleep. And I haven't been able to sleep. And now I've kind of identified it. Um, like one of the things Shane had said was, you know, when he was younger, granted this is when he was a child, nighttime wasn't safe for him. Um, because a parent might come home drunk or angry or whatever. And it wasn't when I was a child, it was later on. Um, but with my ex-husband, nighttime became unsafe for me. Um, because once the kids were in bed, that's when he would take out all of his aggression a lot of times. So whether it was screaming at me or hitting me or other things, you know, that's when nighttime became unsafe for me. And I realized that that's part of my problem. It's not, I'm sure it's not all my problem. <clears throat> um, 
But so I want to try to work through that. And I'm going to see if my husband can help me with that and work with me so that I can actually start sleeping regularly because that would be great. I won't look tired like this. Plus, getting enough sleep also helps your body work right so you can lose weight better. So it is really important for women who lose weight that I start sleeping more. Um, so I do need to get into that pathway and do that. So that is definitely on my list of things to do tonight. Sit down with him and come up with a bedtime plan that means I can sleep at night. Because as it is right now, I end up sleeping in a recliner a lot of nights because I don't fall asleep till just before he leaves work sometimes, just after. Like, sometimes I'll fall asleep just before, like I'll fall asleep like one or two. Then I wake up at four because sometimes I go to work and I get him off to work and then I'm up. And I've only slept a couple hours. Um, this morning that this that was the case. Um and when I try to go, when I start getting tired, I'm like, oh, I'm getting tired, I go to sleep. So I hurry up back to the bedroom, go back to the bedroom, and I try to walk him really slow back to the bedroom. And I just don't, I'm wide awake by the time I get back there. So it's like, you know, why did I bother coming back here when I'm now wide awake? And so I think I'm going to try figuring out a way for us to set up like a bed light that maybe mounts to the wall. So I'm going to see if I can find like on Amazon some sort of a light that is a plug-in, but it mounts to the wall so that maybe at night, um, you know, I'll go back to my bath. When he's taking his shower, maybe I can sit in bed and read a book and something just to kind of calm my mind, that kind of thing. Um, a lot of times, a lot of issues why I can't go to sleep is my head just starts spinning. Um, there's just so many things I always have in my mind. And, you know, I talk to him about it, but for some reason, I just never feel like I've talked it out so it just keeps going through my head until I resolve it it resolves itself or it goes away or whatever and there, and a lot of them are such stupid things um but then some are really important and until I feel like it's resolved or it's on path to resolve it doesn't leave my mind so it's kind of a pain in the butt but anyhow so yeah so that's what's been going on I've had a massive lack of sleep um and I'm sure that's why I'm getting sick more often I am sure that is why I'm getting headaches like I'm getting so easily. Like, I'm sure this lack of sleep is causing so many other issues in my life. And um, I just figured, you know what? It's time to start doing something about that. I fixed all these other things in my life, and sleep is the one thing that I really haven't taken the time to because I kind of figured, like, oh, well, I'm just never going to figure it out. But now at least I have an idea of what's causing it, so maybe that means I can fix it. So we'll see what we can do. So anyhow, this is going to be a short one because there's really not a whole lot going on today. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday and Thursday's weigh-in. Um, I'll probably just do my regular weigh-in video and then do my live. Um, live will probably be at 8 o'clock at night on Thursday. Wednesday night we have our meeting with our missionaries and then again on Friday. Since we're going to get baptized in May. So we've got twice a week meetings right now. Just make sure we get through all of our studies and stuff beforehand. Um, so yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, and hopefully, you know, things will keep moving in the right direction. There's just been a lot of junk going on lately that just has me so stressed out. And I mean, I went over a little bit on Saturday, but that's only half of it. Some of it's kind of resolved itself. Other stuff has cropped up. You know, um, my husband hasn't worked overtime for a couple weeks. That always hurts us when he doesn't. So I'm looking into um, looking for like an online job, like working for like Apple or something, um, where I can work from home. I'm just hoping that maybe have some part time hours would be cool. I really don't want to work 40 hours a week, um, just because I put a lot of time into working out and making these videos, and those are really my priority. But so is my family having cash. But I also have stuff coming up where I won't be able to work, and I can't have them say, well. You can't take this time off now that we've got plans we paid for. Um, and I'm also not bringing my laptop with me so I can work on vacation. Um, so I was kind of hoping to wait until after July to start working online. But I may not be able to wait that long. So it's, it's a few things going on. So I've got to sit down and talk to my husband and make a deal and figure out how I can figure this all out and keep him happy, keep me happy, 
fix it, then we would get fixed and all that kind of good stuff. So that's basically, you know, what I've been doing is just kind of working my butt off and um, I'm not going to give up. So just pushing on. So, yeah, so I am going to see you guys again tomorrow and then we'll see you Thursday for the weigh in. Then Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be going live, so feel free to join me, um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Love you all. Bye.